flying probably commercial flying is all about uh, uh, take off cruise landing and comfort comfortable flying uh, waste flight flying is uh, mostly about uh, what happens in between the takeoff and landing because uh, that is where the uh, all the tactics all the combat uh, all the formation flying all the weapon deliveries take place so fire flying is very very different kind of flying it is uh, more about taking the aircraft to its limit flying at the limits of uh, an aircraft performance uh, delivering the weapon system managing multiple sensors multiple uh, uh, data which is coming in from different sources uh, making decisions uh, taking uh, tactical uh, decisions on uh, uh, multiple aircraft in a formation and uh, so it it is not uh, it is that is what uh, makes it very very interesting it makes it uh, very very demanding and challenging on the pilot and our pilot has to be really involved it is very very intense kind of flying there is no moment to actually sit back and you know, you know relax it you have to be really very very involved in every moment of it i come from a pure civilian background there was uh, no plans to join the military or anything like that but yes i was passionate uh, from the childhood about aircraft uh, i used to read a lot about aircraft design why is it what makes an aircraft fly i used to run to the airport on my cycle and Uh, watch aircraft take off and land, but uh, the real opportunity actually came when uh, just uh, in preparation for my engineering exam, I appeared for the NDA exam. I got through, and when they really called me for an Air Force uh, uh, vacancy to NDA, um, I went out and asked a friend of, uh, I mean, uh, dad of a friend of mine who was serving the army officer, and he really motivated me to. Uh, joined the air force and he told me how i i would have an opportunity to fly real uh, aircraft uh, air force aircraft and that really uh, motivated me that uh, i should join and uh, i that just the thought of that being uh, having getting an opportunity to fly a, a air force aircraft was good enough to join National Defence Academy is a wonderful place. Okay, but when you're out of school, first time you land up with no real military background, it comes as a shock. Okay, but thereafter, once it starts, you really have no time to think, <laughs> ponder. You just go through the routine. Looking back, I think that is one place which really. changes you as a human being it really brings out the best in you the kind of training you go through is tremendous you it brings out the best in you physically mentally it really teaches you every aspect of military life and it actually makes you it gives you such a tremendous confidence and i would say there is a there is aspect of physical training there is aspect of uh, studies and all that but what really matters is it really brings out makes you mentally strong it teaches you how to work with people how to work as a team how to how to fight as a team and how to cooperate with other human beings and that is what matters the most in 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 fighting forces it is not important that you are individually good or whatever you have to be work as a team you have to bring out you know, you have to lead people you have to lead your team members you have to lead uh, your men into fighting into war and that is what national defense academy teaches you and it you make the best of the friends you make the best uh, of uh, you know uh, people whom you will work with and it, uh, it 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 is a starting point for a great life great life in the armed forces 
that is what uh, national defense academy is about Air Force is not a profession or a job, it's a way of life. Okay, so you have to be really passionate about uh, if you want to join the Air Force itself. It is something, you know, which will bring out the best in you. I mean, if I had a second life, probably I'll join back the, and do the same thing again just to bring anything else in life. I mean, that is what I feel, that is how Air Force life is. That is how the uh, Indian Air Force is and it is not something, you know, leap out the glamour and it is all, but it is, it's a lot of hard work, it is not something fun all the way, you, you actually you go through a different kind of a life and uh, you have to really be passionate about what you're doing and uh, live that life too. and uh, I think that is what the youngster should uh, be, I mean uh, do if uh, and join Air Force only if he is really motivated and uh, it's not for the money it's not for the glamour it is it is for the way of life I think every test pilot uh, aspires to fly a prototype pay prototype aircraft and uh, take it up in the air for the first time sometime that is something you will always dream of but uh, flying the prototype is not something like you just walking up one fine day and hit the tire like the fire and take it up it is uh, it involves uh, being part of the team right from the beginning being involved in the design process testing the every component at every stage and then uh, when you are confident the design teams are confident you actually decide that okay the aircraft can be flown and uh, it is a very involved process in the sense you work out at every aspect of that flight you work out on the schedule with the test engineers the telemetry monitoring team personnel you work out on what all tests are you going to conduct and uh, what all failures can happen what all what will be your course of action in every situation you plan it out you uh, revise it, you revise the contingencies, you uh, plan the, uh, you know, you, uh, you have a plan A, plan B, plan C, you have, you, you really work into very, very minutest of the details, you work it out and you are ready for that. But executing that actually, right, you're so involved in that, that you just go through it, you go through the process, you run through it. I mean, some people you know, ask me, you know, how did it feel when you were doing that first flight or that aircraft? Did it, you know, were you tense? Were you, you know? Uh, and I always say, you know, I really actually had no time to think about anything. You just go through the motions. You go through. You know exactly what you have to do. And at every point, you are, uh, yes, you are ready for a failure. Okay. So at every time, you are actually constantly thinking, okay, now this is going to go fail. You are always thinking, okay, okay, something is going to fail now. Something is going to fail now. And you are working ahead of the aircraft at every time but at the end of it if everything just works uh, it's like a normal flight and uh, you look back and just uh, feel good about it and uh, it gives a tremendous feeling to you know do a prototype flying a prototype test Air shows are like uh, festivals, you know, for us because uh, sometimes the test flying part of it becomes mundane because you're so involved, you're all the time conducting test points, you're tick marking, you really forget to enjoy flying. Okay, whereas every day is one period of time where you know you it's pure fun. I always enjoy it. Uh, one is the build up towards it, we build up a routine, we practice, and it's just great fun to be doing aerobatics uh, in there. And uh, yes, uh, uh, when it starts, so I remember early days, yes, it used to be, uh, I mean, you keep revising your schedule, your schedule, okay, what will be the routine, how you're going to go about, how it's going to look around and yes, there's a little bit of uh, anxiety because uh, there are thousands of eyes looking up at you, yeah, there are VIPs, there are 
I remember when the Prime Minister was there, uh, everybody is going to be watching. So for some period of time you are a little uh, anxious but then when it starts there is no time to think. I remember uh, we used to do about six and a half minutes of uh, routine when uh, right from paper of planning is to be uh, real quick and uh, you just have fun actually right from the moment you release your brakes you are actually having fun but it, you have to just know what is the next 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 you just go through it and uh, and have, just enjoy just enjoy being up there looking upside down <laughs> and look at people who are watching and looking up at you and uh, yes I think we met a lot of people and uh, you get to meet a lot of your colleagues who have come in from uh, different places and also you meet, get to meet a lot of foreign air crew who are there you get to see their aircraft and um, you know uh, many times you get a lot of uh, complimentary rides on their aircraft so it's, it's kind of a, as I said, it's more of a festival and it's more of a good break period for us uh, from routine uh, test flight.